up against Liu Shengshu and Tian Ning. Here's the women's doubles draw. I don't think too many expected this final. You can see the seeds all went tumbling. Just one made the quarterfinals, and uh, Beck and Lee went out yesterday. They were well beaten, too, in that semi-final. That's how the top ten stands in uh, women's doubles. Beck and Lee, two in the world, but I didn't help them yesterday. Korea also represented by Kim and Kong in that list, as you can see. Officials are on court, and here come the players. Chen first into the arena. And here come Liu and Tan. I have red and black, you choose. Red for you. Red. That side. Who is serving? Do to Tan. So let's give you some information about this uh, quartet ahead of this women's doubles. Chen Fang Wei, runner up in three minor mixed doubles tournaments, and won the uh, Malaysia International with uh, Cheng Xing last year, just 22. Who is uh, more experienced, her partner. Twenty-five now, do yet? Actually, got to number five in the world. You can see it there with uh, Li Yin Wei. That was three years ago. Won a World Championship bronze with her in 2019, and also uh, three World Tour titles. Born in uh, Hubei. Fairly comprehensive victory in their semi-final yesterday. You'd have seen that if you were with us. Straight games against uh, Fruegard and Tigerson. Were well, taken to three games though in their last two matches before that. And their opponents, Yu Sheng, who's just 18, ranked at 120. I wouldn't take too much notice of that. She's. The reigning World Junior Girls Doubles Champion and the Mixed Doubles Champion, Girls Doubles with Wang Ting. And in January, she won the Indonesia Masters with Shang uh, Xuxian, and that's a Super 500. There's Tan Ning, it says 19, she turns 20 tomorrow, so it's her last day of being a teenager. On the Malaysia International with uh, Liu last year did uh, Tan Ning. Ready to play. Dropped the one game in the second round. That's a big win in the semi-finals as well against the number five seeds. They knocked out two seeds. Kasuma and Pratiwi of Indonesia also sent packing. That was in round two. Sara Shahoseini is in charge with uh, Ika Vaino there of Finland, the service judge. And Sara.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Liu Shen Shu and Tan Ning, China. And on my left, Chen Fanghui and Du Yue, China. Do you have to serve to Tan Ning? Love all. Play. Well, they've been Service aggressive over. in every match they've played, the teenagers, Newman and Tan, and I don't see any chance of that changing here. They're going to take this to Chen and Duke to see how far it gets them. It's worked so far. A wonderful week. Service over. One off. That really well. Liu Shengshu, so much talent for one so young. 18 years of age. That's a lovely touch at the net from Du. Her experience will be key here if they're going to upset the teenagers in this final. like opening round of a, of a boxing match just feeling each other out a little bit oh, service over it's the shuttle oh. so cleanly turning well they both do her and you oddly seen a, a clear in anger so far from either of these pairs nine points in three minutes on court
Long. Service over. Six, five. Well, I think they've realised already, if they didn't know before, Chen and Du, going to have to up their level if they want to stay with these uh, two teenagers. Good shot. But they are having to really <laughs> win points under pressure, the few that they have won. Six out of, what, 15 so far. Chen and Duke. It's not coming easy. It's got to hang in there and hope that the tide will turn. Fault. Can't let. Liu, jump smash from mid-court. Clear's got to be much deeper, otherwise they'll get seriously punished, as they were then. Well, second time we've seen that today. 11-6. Chair umpire, Sarah Shahosaini ruling that there'd been foot movement from the receiver. So it's a five-point lead for the youngsters. Replay and the uh, foot clearly moved. Play. So, can Chen and Du find a way to stop over. the way the tide's turning here? Seven, eleven. They'll certainly take presence like that. Service over, 12-7. 
Well, they're attacking at will here. Being helped by the fact that their opponent's just not going deep enough and money for old rope at the moment. I just feel they're struggling for a strategy, Chen and Du. I don't quite know how to counteract this. And these pairs have never met before, so there's no past history here. Over. Well, they needed a uh, little bit of inspiration, and Chen provided it with an uh, excellent return into open court. Much power again 15, from Tan 8. to be able to deal with, and it's becoming a little one sided that score line. And almost as worryingly for Chen and Du, there's no hint really in the general pattern of play that any kind of comebacks on the cards. Just 11 minutes on court so far, and they're only five points away from the opening game. They're just running them ragged. I mean, I think a lot of observers thought they might just have the edge, the young youngsters in this match, but not by, you know, this kind of a margin or this kind of dominance in the rallies. I wonder what uh, kind of future they have. It's a pretty bright one on this evidence. Have not put a foot wrong so far. Nicely intercepted by Liu, and it brings up no fewer than 12 game points. Who would have thought it? In just 13 minutes, 21 points to eight. Chen and Du have been blown off the court here in the opening game. Brilliant, though, from Liu and Tan.
加速，就可以跑。然后肯定要拿动。Intervals are mandatory. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Second game, love on, play. Oh. Service over, one, love. Well, they'll take anything they can get at the moment, including uh, gifts like that. They're not going to get back into the match. Relying on service errors from their opponents. Over. Picking up exactly One. where they left off oh. at the end of that first game. Liu and Tan. Service over, two, one. Service over, two, all. Amazing, we've had so few lengthy rallies in this match. Now that Service is the over. kind of proactive play they're going to need to have a lot of here in this second game if they want to get back into this match. Hardly saw any of this in the opening game, but a little bit of anticipation there from Chen. And in the end, it's an easy kill. Service over, three, all. Such a level of maturity, it's not just the power of their shots, it's their positional play, tactical acumen, the way they open the court up. Easy leave. Five, three.
10. Service over. Four, five. Yeah, having to work very, very hard to win points, oh, Chen and Du, oh. because well, you and Tan's defensive qualities are so impressive as well. Five all. Well, that's the kind Six, of point that might five. give them a bit of confidence, a bit of hope. Short rally, where they've dictated terms, so to speak. Three points in a row now for the women in red. Seven. Five. Well, now we'll see how the youngsters Eight, adapt when they're being put under some pressure. First time in the match this has happened. Five three down to nine five up. Not see this uh, transformation occurring. I've got to say. Ten five. Thought that might have been worth a challenge, but she was a lot closer than I was. Oh, yeah, well in. Service over. Six, ten. Well, they needed to stop the rot, but has the damage been done sufficiently? Service over. All of a sudden, confidence Six, flowing. Seven. Chen and Du. And they've got a handy lead at the mid game break. Suddenly they're on a tear. Seven. 
service over, 7-12. Still alive. Well, the best and longest rally of the match by a country mile. Well, how quick was she Nine, to react 12. there, Tan? Like lightning. Service over. First time we've seen a genuine 13, lack of communication. Nine. Between the two youngsters, they left that to each other. been a miracle shot almost from that kind of an angle service over 14, 10. Oh, mistake there. Over. 15, 11. Found the line. Oh. 
What about that? Stunning. Great placement again, and they're back within a point. 14, 15. Oh. Well, how badly over. did Chen and Du need that point? Looking like they might get blitzed again, like they did in the first game. 12-6 at one stage. Well, they need that kind of luck. 17, 14. Maybe closing in now and levelling this match, but it's been so unpredictable. Well, you can forecast anything. Well, not quite done and dusted yet. Those three straight points for Chen and Du took the pressure off, but they can't afford to relax completely against these two teenagers. Shot. Service over. 1950. That will ease a bit more of the pressure, take a bit more of the tension out. Two points away from levelling up here. Service Little careless. Over. 16, 19. Service over. So, four game points to level the game match for Chen Fang Wei and Du Yet. So one all it is, and we are in for a potentially fascinating decider. Chen and Du, back in business, one game all. 21-16, one game all.
就这边中午我就，对我发我发群去，所以发单子去，我就要你打。Final game. Love all. Play. So where are we going to go from here? Really hard to tell. They were so dominant in the first game, you and Tan. Can they get back to that kind of form? They're going to challenge the call. It was raw wide. Hardly had any Hawkeyes today so far on finals day. Let's have a look. I think it probably was wide and it. Oh, no. It, <laughs> wow. Doesn't get much closer than that, does it? Service over. Just clipped the outside of the line. Oh, Got to no. have sympathy for the uh, line judge there. I'm not sure how you're supposed to see that in real time. Haven't had too many of those lengthy rallies, especially clear on clear, so to speak. But both pairs showing they're prepared to wrestle in that kind of a of a battle. But I don't think it's ideal for either of them, really. But a good start for the youngsters here in this decider three love. We're just sending a message there to their opponents. Look, we we can be patient if we if we have to be. Ah. Came so off the frame of Tan's racket. One, three. Mistakes could be costly. Shake of the head from Chen. Oh, 
oh dear, oh dear. They played the rally so well until that point, but it was a bad error of judgment. That was well in. I think they were just frustrated that the shuttle kept coming back from those two. Service over three six. Great defense again, and the women in red, and again Four, they get their reward. Six. And I you just sense a little bit of frustration here. You and ten. Complete miscue from Tan, and they're back on terms now. They're definitely looking a little uneasy, Liu and Tan. Service over. Well, really good fortune. Seven. For the teenagers. Service over. Seven, eight. Service over. Unrelenting pressure no. from the youngsters. Seven. That's when they look at their most effective when they're playing like that. Just keep knocking on the door and eventually it'll open. Ah! 
10, 7. So another error, and suddenly a four-point lead at the mid-game interval. This match really is moving on. They're in the mood again, aren't they? 12, 7. Is the shot okay? Play on. Service over. Well, resolute and stout defence from Chen and Du. That, that was the only tactic in that Eight, rally. 12. No other plan, nowhere else to go. But at least they stayed the course and eventually they got the error they were looking for. Position. That was the problem. Never ever going to be able to recover in time. I think she's okay. So you're right inside the tram line, so shuttle was always going to go there. The obvious shot played by Chen. He is okay. <laughs> Down but not out. Service over. 
Kept it in. Somehow got it back over the net. It's a fascinating one because I think a partner had given it up as uh, Do goes sliding in vain. It was an incredible point because. It looked like he was going to leave it, and almost as an afterthought, <laughs> ended up being a perfect, a perfect shot, actually, weight-wise, and then he went on to win the point. Not in a textbook, that one. 14, 10. Getting closer. So what would be a huge title for these two teenagers? You just won a Super 500 in uh, Indonesia, but as a pair. Spent as much time on the deck as she has running around in this second game. She's okay. It's the old burn or whatever. Price worth paying if they go on to lift this uh, title. Long. 12, 16. Oh, that was going to be wide, I think. It's long. Oh, no, she made it. Thought it was just beyond the line, but no. You just wonder if that isn't a pivotal point. Sure, earlier in the rally, there was a shot that was going to go out. Maybe it was that one. Six. 
Service over, 14, 17. Oh, yeah, nailed that one. Well, two points away. And they won the second game. Just wondered whether Chen and Du, whether their greater experience would tell, but it's not been the case at all. Apparently not. Not over the line yet, these two, but close. Service over. 15-19. It's long, and Service here are over. five championship points for teenagers Liu Shengshu and Chen Ning. Chance 16, earlier in that rally. 20. Brilliant defense actually from Duke. But still, four more opportunities. A snatchy one, wasn't it? 20. Really was from Tan. Nervy. And it's just the situation. Calls for cool heads, clear thinking, easy to say, much harder to do. Still three chances. Getting nervier and nervier now. It's past the hour mark. And that's it. 21-18, the service error that gives the title to the teenagers. And on balance, surely they deserve it. First major title for Liu Shengshu and Tan Ning. Liu just 18, and it's the perfect birthday present for Tan there, who turns 20 tomorrow.
was very nervous at the end. They had five match points, three of them saved, and then the service error that effectively gifted them the tire for, but they've done so much good work in the preceding hour. And they win 21-8, 16-21, 21-18. Exactly one hour, the women's doubles final match time. Two presenters, Antonio Azamendi, who's the president of the Spanish Badminton Federation, and also Ernesto Bashwitz, who's the president of the Madrid Badminton Federation. So here come this quartet who've so royally entertained us over the past hour. So runners up, Chen and Du. It's worth nearly 6,000 ranking points which is never to be sniffed at.
You are allowed to step on the podium. You're the champions. <laughs> so a brilliant victory for Liu and Tan. Receiving their trophies. Seven thousand nine hundred and eighty US dollars for the runners up. Just over sixteen and a half thousand for the winners. I'm sure we're going to have a few photos. Yeah. I'll take a few of their own as well. <laughs> there we go. Four-way selfie. <laughs> So congratulations to the winners. We'll take a short break and up next, the first of the singles finals. An all Japanese affair, Nishimoto against Sunyama in a couple of moments. Welcome back to the Spanish capital. It is a, a glorious day outside. Really green city, Madrid. Our action is all under the spotlights, though. And we've reached the first singles final 
an all-Japanese affair. Kenta Nishimoto seeded one versus Kanta Suniyama 